Hi everyone, I am Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, today's video is all about the interview experience of a candidate who is from CS branch and she applied for the role of project engineer in Wipro. So here the candidate don't want to reveal her name that's why I can't tell you her name. So she is from computer science branch and pass out in 2022. And she applied for the project engineer role for the package of 3.5 lakh per annum. Now let's see what were the question interviewer asked to her. So the first question of the interviewer was that tell me about yourself. And if you want to know how to answer this question, so I have already covered this question in my previous video. So you can check out the description box for the video link. So the next question was what is the syntax of array? So in C or C++, the syntax of array is data type and then array name and in square bracket you have to write the size of the array. And in Java, array can be declared in three ways. And here you can also check out the example of the syntax. So the next question interviewer asked her that how to sort an array. So we have different technique to sort an array like bubble sort, quick sort, merge sort and so on. So you can use any one of these techniques. And if you are thinking like you can use a Java built-in method called sort method. So I would suggest you to not to use the built-in functions or method because interviewer want to know your approach as anyone can use the built-in function. So where is the approach? So prepare any sorting technique to sort an array. Now the next question interviewer asked her was, have you done any internship? So its answer depend on you. If you have not done the internship, then you can say no. And if you have done the internship, then you have to explain about your internship, like where you have done it and what you have learned in the internship. And also you have to tell them about the projects that you have done in your internship. So in this way, you can answer this question. So after this, the interviewer asked her some behavior based question, like what if your boss doesn't listen you? And what if your team member have different opinions? So I have already created a video where I have discussed this behavior based question which are frequently asked in the Wipro. So you can find the video link in the description box. And then the interviewer asked, do you have any blockage or any education gap? So here I would suggest you to tell the truth to the interviewer about your blockage or any gap. Otherwise, if you will lie to them, then afterward it may create problem for you if you will get selected. So always tell the truth in your interview. Now our next question is, are you ready to relocate? So the answer of this question will be yes or no. And it's completely dependent on you. So if you are ready to relocate, so you can say yes, otherwise you can say no. And then the next question was, if you will get selected, then will you accept our offer later? So guys, obviously in the answer of this question, you have to say yes. And in her interview, the interviewer gave her a coding problem to solve, which is to write a program to sum the largest and the smallest digit of each number and arrange the output in ascending order. So for example, you have these three numbers. So first you have to add the smallest and the largest digit like in 435, the smallest digit is 3 and the largest is 5. So their sum is 8. And in this way, we have to perform the same operation with the other two numbers. After that, we have to arrange the output in ascending order. So this was the coding question interviewer asked to her, which is pretty easy. And in last, the interviewer asked her, do you have any question for me? So guys, don't miss this opportunity because most of the candidates say, no, I don't have any question, but you should ask question because it shows that you cares about the organization. So you can ask one or two question that are focused on the organization. So you can ask like, what are the goal the company has for the next year? So it shows that you are planning to work for a long time with the firm. Or you can ask the question related to your job role. So you can ask, if I selected for the role, then what could I do in this role to help you achieve your vision? It shows that you are really interested in joining the company. So this is how you can answer this question. So guys, that's all about today's video. I hope this video will help you in your interview preparation. 
and if any of my video helps you for getting selected then please drop a comment in the comment box it will motivate me a lot to upload more videos so guys please share this video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching